Hello, thank you so much for the click. My name is Dallin Fee. Today I want to show you how easy it is to use calculator to solve composite functions. So first we want to do this manually and then you compare to how easy it is to use calculator. So we have a function if p of x is equal to 2x plus 2 and k of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3. Find p of k of minus 2. So using this manually, meaning first of all, we are going to put minus 2 whatever we see x in k of x. So we write k of x in place of this x, we put minus 2 there. And in place of this x here, we have minus 2. And in place of this x, we still have minus 2. And so solving this, you see that minus 2 squared will give us 4. And then 4 times 2, we have 8. And then minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5. So 8 minus 5 will give us um, 3. That means when you put minus 2 into k of x, you are getting minus 3. Then after getting the 3, after getting 3, you are now going to put this 3 into p of x. That means in place of the x, we are going to put this 3 there. And so we will have um, equation like this. And so in place of this x, we put 3. And so we have 2 times 3 giving us 6. And then plus 2, we have 8. So this is when you solve it manually. Okay, solving it manually, p of k of minus 2 you are going to get minus 8. This is manual. Now let's use calculator and you see how easy it is. Now to use calculator, first and foremost, always remember that the function close to the number is what you are going to enter first. Okay, so here we have P of K of minus 2, meaning K is closer to the minus 2 than the P. So we are going to enter the K function on the calculator. And to do that, we want to first give it a name. So instead of writing k of x, we can use y is equal to, then you enter this expression. Okay, so now let me bring my calculator. So in place of the k of x, I want to put y here. So you go alpha, and then you click on y. And so you have the y. And then this equal sign, um, you need to bring it on the calculator. And to do that, you press alpha, and then you press on calc. You see there's an equal sign symbol here. So alpha and calc, the equal sign will show. And then let's enter this expression on the calculator. So I have 2, and then alpha x. Then I square the x. Then plus x, so plus alpha x. And then minus 3. So I have minus 3. Now, I have entered this expression on the calculator. Now, I want to program the calculator to solve the two functions at the same time. So, how do you program the calculator? You need to introduce the column. And how do we bring the column? Simply press alpha. And then, just below the alpha, you see that there's a column button there. So, you press on it and then the column will come. Why this? It means... I am telling the calculator I have not finished entering my equation. There is one more that I need to enter. That is why you bring the uh, you bring the column symbol. Now, after the column symbol, we are left with the p of x. Now, notice this. Now, we are not going to enter 2x plus um, 2. That will give us an error. The key symbol that you need to know or the key that you need to know is this. Always, whatever variable you bring here, like this y, you can make it a, you can make it b, depend on how you want it. Now, whatever I see any variable in the second function, that variable is going to be replaced by the variable I have here. So this is why. What am I trying to say? I am saying that in the second function, in place of this x, I would rather bring y, not x. And so let me now bring the second function. So that is 2. So I have 2. And then instead of bringing this x, I am going to rather bring the first y that I brought. 
and so I will have alpha and then y and then I have plus 2 left so plus 2 and you are done it's as simple as that so this is how we use the calculator then you press the calc button or the solve button it will ask you what is the value of x now remember the question says we are looking for um, x is minus 2 so the question is p of k of minus 2 this, that means x is going to be negative 2 and so when you are asked what value of x are you solving simply press minus 2 and then you simply hit the equal sign button added down so now let me press equal sign button now it is telling me that when it solve the first equation it will get 3 remember when we solve manually we got k is equal to 3 so calculator has actually solved by getting the 3 but we haven't finished we want to get this 8 okay we want to get this 8 so the first you you press the equal sign button one the first one it will give you the first answer then if you are looking for the second one press the equal sign button again and then you will get your final answer so when i press another equal sign button bam i am getting eight this is how easy to use calculator in solving any question about composite function please subscribe my name is darlene fee